President ECOWAS Court of Justice has called on the ECOWAS Parliament to ensure that Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger raising their threat to exit the bloc. According to him, these can potentially hamper the bloc's efforts at democratic consolidation, regional cohesion, and the integration of the region. This is a noble initiative for which Parliament should be commended and which should be sustained under this legislature until the realization of the objective that informed the decision in the spirit of solidarity and complementarity, which is at the foundation of the community. I can assure you that the court remains available to provide whatever support that is necessary in furtherance of this and other initiatives that will preoccupy the members during the sixth legislature through its standing joint and ad hoc committees. I am hopeful that the presentation by the President of the Commission on our community work program during this session will enable members of Parliament have further insight into the region's efforts to reintegrate the affected states into the ECOWAS family. He recalled that the court had sought to draw attention to this courage by providing the platform of its 2023 International Conference in Banjul to discuss these threats to the region's struggles to entrench democracy in the region. This session coincides with a period of seismic political development in the region, which if not appropriately managed, have, will have grave implications for the region and could potentially hamper our efforts at democratic consolidation, regional coercion, and the integration of the region. These relate to the resurgence of military coups in the region and the avowed intention of some member states that have, despite the ent our entreaties, refused to return to the community. Last year, the court sought to draw attention to this scourge by providing the platform at its 2023 International Conference in Banju to discuss this creeping threat to the region's struggle to entrench democracy in the region. I'm aware that Parliament has engaged through their members from these countries with high-level officials of those states in order to ensure their overdue return to the community ECOWAS family so that we can continue our relentless march towards the development of our region. 